everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon. Today we have something extra special for you. If you've seen my other videos, you know that Greenworks has sent me tools in the past and they wanted me to try them out. I've done that and I've given them honest feedback on the tools. But as I got more and more into the tools and I started looking at them, I noticed that they had something a little bit more powerful and not actually a little bit more. This is a powerhouse impact driver. So I contacted them, I asked them if they'd be willing to send it to me so I could test it out against the highest impact driver that Ryobi makes. They said, sure. I was really happy about that because guess what? Now you get to see the face off. First, if we take a look at both of the tools, you notice that the light is on the base for Ryobi and the light for the Greenworks is right at the chuck. That's more preferable. If we take a look right here near the collet, and this would be at the base of the tool, you have some impact resistance here. This is some really good rubber overmulling for the Greenworks. You have a steel casing for the Ryobi. For Ryobi, it's a quick release chuck, so it's one-handed, so you put it in, you press it, you can take it out. For Greenworks, it's manual, so you need to pull it out, push it in, and it's the same to come out. Now these are both quarter inch impact drivers. They both have really good over molding all the way around. They both have belt clips. Now this actually doesn't come with a belt clip. I had to steal that from another tool, but this comes with a belt clip with no issues. They both have different modes. So the Ryobi has uh, four different modes. You have one, two, three, and automatic. Automatic is the uh, power sensing, so whenever you drill, it will actually increase the pressure the more friction that it hits. For Greenworks, you have three different power levels here. You have your first level, your second level, and then your third level. For our purposes today, we're going to leave these both on the third levels, which are the highest levels for both of the tools. Now, ergonomically, they feel pretty good, both of them, and they feel just about the same size in my hands. So now the cool thing about Greenworks, all their batteries actually have a built-in USB. It's kind of hard. It has a spring door here. I'll try and show you that. There you go. And you turn it on by pressing the two amp hour button. They do have other amp hours, just they just only sent me a two amp hour battery. For the Ryobi, you know what this is. This is a post style uh, battery. It's called the One Plus system and they have made a commitment not to change that which is really good. Now, I have a two amp hour battery on this. Now let's take a look at the specifications for both of them and let's line them up. So as you can see, I wanted to wait to show you that because the specs on this are super surprising. This is still right up there with the professional levels at 2200 inch pounds. At 26, almost 2,700 inch pounds on this. Well, we're going to see how this goes. This is rated at 2,800. This is rated at 2,900 RPMs. So I think we're going to have a very, very good test today. Um, now, if it does play out right, this will win. Now, the big disparity here is that this is a 24 volt and this is an 18 volt. Now, if I did a 2 amp hour against 2 amp hour battery, well, that's not very fair because you have to go off power, which is measured in watts. If we look at the wattage on here, this is rated at 36 watts. If we look at the wattage on here, this is rated at 43 watts. So we're going to put these through a really hard test. First, we're going to put a spade or whatever, if you want to call it a paddle bit. This is an inch and a quarter, and we're going to drill this as far down as we possibly can for both. Then we're going to go to a typical 5 inch Spax bit. And then we're going to go to a 3 8 inch, this is a 6 inch lag screw. And then we're going to do a timber lock, this is an 8 inch timber lock. And then we're going to save the best for last. This is a half inch, 10 inch lag screw. Now, I'm not going to pre-drill any of these, and you're supposed to, because I want to see just how good both of these can actually do and the power that they boast. So without further ado, let's jump into it.
Okay, let's see who actually made it deeper. This has four inches to the top, and this has four inches to the top. They made exactly the same amount of power in order to get this in there. That is really interesting. All right, everybody, that was an incredible test. In fact, so much that I actually had to go back, review the video to see which one actually came in first. Now, I think we have a couple things to discuss here. This has higher RPMs, this has higher torque. So on the lower load things, you know, that doesn't take as much power, the Ryobi really came out on top on that. When it came to the power, when you hit a lot of the friction items, such as these huge 10 inch half inch lag screws well this drove it faster because it has more power to it now as you did see the ryobi did have some problems the three amp hour battery that i was using i was trying to start with brand new fresh batteries for both of these to see how you know far these would actually drive it the three amp hour battery it completely failed it's not that it drained it just failed completely so i had to go back to the battery uh, two amp hour battery that I was using that has less wattage than this one, but it drove it the same albeit a little bit slower, but it did drive it the same So I think this was an absolutely incredible test But I think what it comes down to if I'm going to pick a winner here It has to come down to overall value when you buy this from the Home Depot This alone costs ninety nine dollars not even with a belt clip I had to take that from another tool and then you got to buy your battery second with a charger for Greenworks you get the tool you get a battery you get a double charger and another battery and you get a little drill bit now that was $99 on Amazon it regularly retails for $130 um, but you do get everything even just for that price so I think as far as this goes with capabilities and value it has to go to Greenworks this time these are both extremely capable tools and I'm very satisfied with both of them. So I hope that you all found this very entertaining and I, I hope you found it helpful as well. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.